UPS officials are exploring more ways to fix the park and ride problems they saw this weekend. Complaints poured in from visitors who were turned away at park and ride sites because there weren't enough buses. Some didn't get a ride until the mass ascension was over. Now, Fiesta officials say 21,000 people tried to use the park and ride Saturday, an all-time high. Before that, the most that it's seen was 18,000. They say they are looking at ways to get the buses back and forth to the park and ride more efficiently. They say next year. They may also look at requiring all park and ride passes to be pre-purchased for a specific time and location. They say one problem Saturday was the high number of walk-ups, but they say what happened was unacceptable. Fiesta officials say the busiest days at the park are weekend mass ascensions and the special shaped Glodios Thursday and Friday. Now they also say there were erroneous reports out there that Lyft and Uber users were going to have to sit in traffic like any other driver. Park officials say that is not true. They say they do have designated routes and drop-off and pickup areas at the park. On this Columbus Day, the city of Santa Fe is once again dropping the recognition of the European explorer to celebrate Native Americans. The third annual Indigenous Peoples Day is bringing hundreds of people to the plaza, and it's the first year the city has held events throughout the weekend. News 13's Jackie Kent is there. Music and dancing fill the Santa Fe Plaza. It's a way Santa Feans and visitors are honoring Native Americans as the city recognizes the third Indigenous Peoples Day in place of the federal Columbus Day holiday. And we appreciate the opportunity just to acknowledge all Indigenous people, not only here in this country, but around the world, because each of us, we have our own language, prayers, our culture, our way of life. Today, the celebration started with a proclamation from Mayor Alan Weber. As Indigenous Peoples Day shall reflect on the ongoing struggles of Indigenous people of this land and celebrate the thriving culture and value that Indigenous people add to our city. Prayer. And speeches about honoring the history and traditions of the state's 23 Indigenous communities. In recent years, cities around the country have been turning away from honoring the European explorer, a symbol of colonization. This year, the celebration coincides with a national convention for indigenous funders to benefit native businesses. It's in, very important for us to lift up our uh, communities in a way that we never have. Jackie Kent, KRQE News 13. More than 50 cities nationwide recognize indigenous people in lieu of Columbus Day, including Columbus, Ohio, named after the explorer. Here in New Mexico, Albuquerque and Farmington have also replaced the day.